okay for this particular clip we are going to look at web code all right uh, you can actually get your web code as well as web wolf from oops.org you don't need to pay for it so you just download it directly from the website i have stored my web code as well as web wolf into my c drive right, under this uh, directory called web code uh, my files is a little bit different that is because I have already renamed it to a shorter file name uh, it's easier for me to do typing later on now how do I launch uh, web group okay. let me go into my command prompt and I need to navigate to the directory first which is uh, web group 8 Right, then of course I can see the files inside here now this is a executable jar file so I will need to use my Java dash jar right, to execute the jar file followed by the file name web code 8 dot jar okay. I'll hit enter and let it run if this is the first time you are running this jar file for web code 8 you will take a little bit more time than usual well, that is normal uh, the subsequent time it will be a lot faster so just let it run okay, okay until you can see this statement here started web code the numbers how many seconds is not really important you need to keep this window all right uh, once you close this basically uh, web code get shut off okay this is something like your server now in order to use web code i need to launch my browser so i'll minimize this uh, i'll be using firefox i'm more familiar with firefox but you can use any browser basically stop this and show you from the beginning to run web code you need to point it to your local host uh, colon 8080 which is the port number uh, it's an alternative HTTP port uh, web code slash attack once you come to this website uh, you will find that there is a login screen uh, there is no more guest login so you want to create a new user for yourself all right so just fill up the form okay write your username your password okay then make sure you agree and then you just sign up i already have signed up a username so I'll, I'll log in using this and I'll click in All right so you will see this this basically means your web code is already up and running All right you can see your logout the information and so forth over here but web code has made some changes recently to uh, the way it structures its program uh, firstly uh, it is more academic based all right so you can see all right there are pages okay like for instance this one is web good this one is uh, web wolf uh, you will notice in this page you will see that there are this small little number on the top these are pages these are all pages so you can navigate them right like page one page two page three and page four but you will also realize that this two particular page three and four is slightly different color the reason is because page one and page two is basically information while page three itself is there is an app so you can see there are some in some apps down here that you can use right. 
so this is the basic navigation that you have for uh, web goat as both as web wolf itself right, i'll focus on web goat first now the interesting part about web goat is there is this reset lesson uh, right now it doesn't does it doesn't do anything but once you actually have gone through some of the exercise and you want to reset the exercise itself use the reset lesson to reset the exercise then you can start it all over again all right so on the coming clips okay i will go through the section all right uh, section by section okay and hopefully by the end we will actually cover the entire the entire web god series including web itself